Our insects have arrived today from Insect Lore. Yay! Yay! We're so excited to share them with you. So here we go, we're opening the box. And this year we decided to get our butterfly refills and we did the deluxe butterfly refill. And then um, we also got the Praying Mantis Uthica. And, and we yep, we got the life cycle stages because we didn't have the Praying Mantis life cycle stage. And we have the, we have the caterpillar, um, which is the butterfly one, and the ladybugs. And we also got ladybugs, didn't we? And we got a new ladybug land. Open right away. Open this right away. This one says open right away. This one says pine mantis egg case. Yes. So that's the pine mantises. Yep, that's the Uthica. I'm guessing that these are the butterflies. Oh. No, ladybug land. Ladybug land. All right. Okay. Happy yeah. growth. Your ladybug so larvae have are. arrived, and they come in this little tube. It's taped shut, so you can see them in there, the little larvae. And they are itty, itty, bitty, teeny, tiny. Thank you, it says. There we go. I'll take it. Thank you. This is fun. Look, it's kind of a little different. This ladybug land? Yeah. Think it's a little different than the last one? Yeah. What do you think is different about it? I don't know. You don't know? It looks kind of like different. Yeah, you can't put it with clothes and everything. And you have a return form here, too. In case you want to return them. Mm -hmm. It says, please inspect immediately. Contact them if there are any issues. And um, so you get your ladybug land, mm -hmm. and you also get your quick guide. So this will walk you through how to take care of your ladybug larva um, and, and raise them into ladybugs. What's Read this? me. This? How to place your ladybug larva in the habitat. Hey, what's this? Okay. It says, no, this is key. We have found this out in the past. You do not want to dump your ladybug larva on top of the mountain because that's where their food um, or their water goes. You don't want the food to get stuck in there. It gets all mushy and then they have nothing to eat. Um, so you want to tip it to the side a little bit so that they land, you know, around the base of it. So very important, but uh, they make it easy for you. These bugs are really easy to care for and everything. Um, they give okay. you this quick guide and it gives you step-by-step -step instructions. So before you begin, your tiny ladybug larva may be inactive upon arrival. Well, ours were already crawling around, weren't they? And mm -hmm. this is what the ladybug land looks like. Good job. Give them 48 hours to acclimate to their new home. If you're worried, then moving. contact us. Do not throw them away. Yeah, they are moving. And you got a lot this time. Yeah. There are a lot in there, and they're teeny tiny. Other times when we've gotten them, they were bigger than that, the larvae were. Um, let's see. So step one, transfer your ladybug larva into the ladybug land. Here's what to do. Tilt the base, and do not shake the contents of the tube into the sponge of the volcano. That's important. That's what we talked about. That's so where the water will go. So are now? Um... And you want to set the habitat, the ladybug land, in a safe place away from direct sunlight or drafts. So ours will go over there on top of the bookcase. With the gnome? Because it's away, yep, with our gnome, because it's away from direct sunlight and drafts, and it's safe. Your brother can't get them. <laughs> um, you also get this little pipette. This is what you will um, fill with water, and then you'll open the spyglass. They have a little magnifying glass on top for the kids to be able to look in. And then you will squeeze the water onto this little sponge that is on the top of the volcano. And that's how the larva will drink. Um, this is different, you're right. The previous ladybug lands, um, they were taller, right? There was like a big mountain that led up to the top of the volcano. Um, 
But I like this one too. So can we nothing wrong with it. Start opening? Um, yeah, you can open it. And be careful, tilt it up. If you're opening that end, you don't want to hold that end down and dump any of your larva out, you know. And then there you go. Take the tape off. And then take the red cap off. And I will hold this. And I can put it tilted. And then remember it said do not shake them in, okay? You'll just gently place it in sideways, okay? At an angle. Just let them come at, out on their own. Would you like some help? Okay. I am glad you're so excited. I'm so excited too. It's always fun to watch. see if I can help you pop that off. There you go. Oh, there's one inside the cap. Oh, hey. You want to see if you can? Two, but one cut it in half. Oh, dear. One got cut in half by the cap. Ah, we lost one. That's okay. Let's see. Can you put them in there? Will he crawl in there, maybe? Maybe put it on your finger? Come on. Yeah. Can you get him? How about we do the tube? Okay. Did you get him? No, it's running away from me. It's running away from you. The trapped. From the big monkey. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Put your finger in front of it. It'll climb up under your finger now. Yep. Put it in there. And be very gentle. Maybe it'll climb onto the side. Oh, it's on your hand. <laughs> nope. There you go, little guy. Did he fall in there? Okay. Now, take this tube. I will hold this sideways. Don't be scared. Okay. Yep. No. No, sweetie, you're fine. You're fine. Let me hold this sideways. Put the tube all the way in, like the picture showed. All the way in. The whole tube. Yep. There you go. Now, leave it like that. Don't put it over the volcano, remember? And kind of gently tap it so that they're all off. Okay, now look. Are they all off of your tube? Was, There's one more. Okay, here. Put it back in. Add an angle. So, and also, as we just discovered, you really don't have to tip the ladybug land as long as you're tipping the tube. It says don't shake, but we've got some stuck in here. Okay, um, mom. Maybe these are the inactive ones they're talking about. Oh, it's moving now. Okay. Slowly but surely. You There's one me? in there. Yeah. Can I open this one up? Not yet. Let's get these in here. So, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm now going to just leave this in there so that it can crawl out on its own. Um, and then, so in a little bit, I will take the, um, little green pieces of paper out of this habitat. I'm just waiting for this last little ladybug to make its way down into the habitat. Okay, so see, they're in there. So, we will put the ladybug land and the pipette, can I have the water pipette please? Yeah. Over here, <gasps> over here by the ladybug life cycles. There we go. And those that. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And we'll put that back on top before any of them decide to climb out. Is this little guy still in there? Yes. Almost out. Okay. We don't want any of the others to climb out either, so we'll keep an eye on that. So we have one near the top. Okay. So we have the praying mantis egg case. Yes, now we have the Uthaka or the praying mantis egg case. And I'm also going to put our quick guide over here by our ladybugs. Awesome. And again, we got our read me for the praying mantis and the caterpillar quick guide. Oh, because our caterpillars are in here too. And all of our stuff for our 
uh, Caterpillar Deluxe Refill. Now, typically when you um, get a refill in previous years, we just got the regular refill and you just get this because you already have the um, pop-up habitat. Um, so you just get this refill cup of caterpillars. And it looks like this year we got one, two, three, four. Five. Oh, five. There is one on the lid. Um, in previous years, we've gotten, you know, around five, maybe six. Um, but here you go. And again, you don't want these little guys in direct sunlight either, so... Um, but you'll notice they have food in there. They're kind of hanging out. There's uh, some fuzzies in there, and um, they like to nibble and yep. chew, and then they grow. So they're teeny tiny now, but just wait until you see them in a couple weeks. They get huge, don't they? Yeah. Big caterpillars. It's a lot of fun. And... Right here you can see there's like a little food, like a little spider or something. Yeah, don't jumble it around. That's the Uthaka. So this is the Uthaka, the praying mantis egg case. And um, so this is what you will see ha them hatch out of. Um, and it's so cool. You see hundreds, hundreds of praying mantis nymphs hatch out of here. So Connor already knows what to do. And he is, he's putting our caterpillars in the pop-up habitat. And we generally just keep them in there because that's where they'll end up anyways. And then we have the life cycle for the butterfly right here too. Okay. Let's see. So let's do, do you want to uh, be my guest and open the praying mantis life cycles? Stage one, stuff, egg case. So let's see. Thank you. Okay, so here we have our praying mantis quick guide and our caterpillar quick guide. So let's look at this really quick. Provide a habitat for your mantids. Your egg case or uthica will arrive in a clear plastic cup. You can transfer your egg case to a clean, ventilated habitat that will allow you to clearly see the birth of your young mantids. So, um, step two, transfer your egg case. So your Uthaka has been dormant during the cold winter months and will need a few weeks of warmth in order to hatch. So this is what we do. Um, you can suspend your egg case in the hatching plant egg case holder and place it in the habitat. Um, maintain the egg case at room temperature. Your tiny nymphs will hatch in three to 10 weeks. Um, and that all depends on really how long it's been dormant and the temperature in your house. Uh, the chillier your house is, I feel like the longer it's taken them for, um, taken for them to hatch. Um, you want to provide humidity by misting the enclosure very lightly once a week. Dehydration is one of the main reasons that they won't hatch. So, um, and again, you don't want them to be exposed to sunlight or drafts. So, and then look, it gives you step-by-step -step instructions on what you'll do along the way. And that's the same as the caterpillar quick guide and the um, ladybug larva. So super helpful and easy to follow. Oh, and it looks like all of our Larva have exited their tube, perfect, and they are now in their ladybug land. All right, can you put this by the yep. praying mantis? Now, um, you can go ahead and open the praying mantis cup, the Uthika cup, and take it out. you can take it out. And now we have this, it's an Uthika holder. Um, in previous years, we didn't have the holder, and so we would sew, like put a little stitch in the side of the Uthaka, and then suspend it with um, string from the top of the egg case. You'd like to do it very gentle with it, very, very gentle. Um, and don't drop it, set it on there very carefully. On here? Yeah, in the middle. Perfect. 
um, and we would suspend it from the top. And as they would hatch, they'd kind of just like crawl all over the Uthaca egg case and then drop down or climb down the sides of the habitat. But um, we purchased that little uh, Uthaca holder and we really like having that. Um, it's fun to watch them kind of hatch and then sit on the leaves of the Uthaca holder and you can really get an idea of how many there are because there will be hundreds. It's quite amazing to watch. Okay, so we are done with that. Now, let's see, Caterpillar Quick Guide. Yeah. Should we go over that really quickly? Yeah. And then uh, the readme for the Caterpillar says your caterpillar, caterpillars may seem inactive. Um, it's normal. Give them 24 to 48 hours to adjust from their bumpy journey. Um, yeah, we've never had any issues. Like, like we showed you, they're all moving around and happy. Happy to be here. So, so the thing says that, um, the log. Yeah, the log. It says when they're all in there, you can set the, um, case onto the log. Yeah, so we can actually, um, what you do is when, we'll get to that point, it's step three, but um, once your caterpillars grow and grow and grow, they will move to the top of the lid where they will form their chrysalis. And then once they have formed their chrysalis and they are nice and hard, you don't want to move them too early, um, then you'll take the lid off and you will set them in this nice log that they now give us. Um, before we set, um, we would peel it one year. We peeled the top off because there's kind of like a paper thin layer on the lid and we peeled that off and then hooked it to the side of the habitat that worked fine. Um, when they hatched and then in a, a different year, we took the, um, lid off and laid the lid on just flat on the bottom of the habitat and they hatched. We had one minor issue because the, um, one of the lady, but, or excuse me, one of the butterflies when it hatched fell over and it's very important that they do not fall over because they pump blood through their wings immediately. So their wings can harden. And when it fell over, it couldn't pump blood through that one wing. So it's one wing was slightly bent and it affected its flying, which was sad, but we still let it go and it's the circle of life. So we're not sure what happened to him. But um, this year, very happy to receive the Insect Lore Chrysalis Station. So this will hold up the lid, um, so then they'll have an easier time hatching out of their chrysalis. But again, they give you a step-by-step -step guide as to what to do. Number one, grow your caterpillars. Um, they have food in there, so you just leave them in their cup. Don't do anything with them. Um, keep a temperature of 68 to 75 degrees in your house and they'll grow and you'll see them shed their exoskeletons. At first, you know, my kids were thinking, oh my gosh, they're breaking in half. Nope, that's just them growing and they're shedding their skin. So they have extra skin pieces and particles laying around the habitat as that happens, but they get very big and it's awesome to watch. So this is what came with our deluxe kit. Um, it's a feeding station yep. and it comes with your mixes so that you can make your own butterfly Food. So once your chrysalides um, hatch, okay. your butterflies hatch from their chrysalis, then they can eat. So you can keep them in their habitat longer. Um, before, we would watch and watch and watch our chrysalis every day and um, see if they were hatching. And it's like the same day that they hatched, we would release them because we didn't want our poor butterflies to starve. But now we have this so we can keep them for a bit longer and watch them eat. So this is what you'll get with the deluxe refill for the caterpillars and then um, we purchased the life cycle stages so that's separate um, if you don't get the deluxe refill then you don't get the um, feeding station you just get your caterpillars and then this is what you get the Uthaca with your praying mantis refill and then you also can purchase the life cycle stages and then that's what you get with your ladybug um, refill. You would just get the tube of ladybugs. Um, we purchased the ladybug land because ours, you know, is a couple years old, so we wanted a nice new one. And um, we also have the life cycles. 
So um, we buy three because we like seeing uh, the difference between complete metamorphosis and incomplete metamorphosis. Now, complete metamorphosis, we remember as a complete change, right? So like our butterflies here, they go, go through a complete change, yep. complete metamorphosis. The, the eggs, the they're caterpillars, and they go into a chrysalis, then and that's they when they hatch and butterfly. completely change, or complete metamorphosis. This does not, this is This not. is not a complete change, right? Yep. They yes. start in a new so that's yep. so that's the, that's the egg case, yep. and then that kind of gets dark and hard, it hardens, and that's when, you know, they hibernate over the winter. And then they hatch out, but they already look like their mommy and daddy, right? They hatch out, and they're already teeny tiny versions of their larger praying mantis self. So that's not a complete change. They're just small. Yeah. They still look the same and act the same. So that's incomplete metamorphosis. And then and how about our ladybugs? This is complete. Yes, complete metamorphosis again. Because look at that change. They go from larva... Yep. to in a chrysalis, right? Yep. To completely changing to that ladybug. So how about we put these two next to each other? Let's see that. Complete metamorphosis. Yep. And again, let's look at this. Catapul caterpillars to a butterfly. Complete metamorphosis again. And then how about these ones? Incomplete. They already look alike, right? So that's an incomplete metamorphosis. Complete change, complete change, incomplete change. That's an easy way to remember it, right? Well, thank, yeah, did you have and something else to say? And on here, you can see oh, one. You can see one hatching from the Uthaka. Good point, thanks for showing us. <laughs> All right, do you have anything else to say? That's all. I think that's all we need to share for today. We will be back with other videos to update you in the process of how things are going along for our little insects here. Would you like to say goodbye? Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. Subscribe so you can watch our other future videos. Bye. See ya.